So nine, Mark 9, 35, he gathers the 12 around him and begins to give them a further lesson on discipleship. For those wanting a place of leadership, he says, if anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. A parallel passage and even deeper going into this subject is Matthew chapter 20, verse 25 through 28, where he reiterates the same thing. He said, listen, don't be like the Gentile leaders who lord it over you and, and you know, control and all these things, right? No, rather you be you humble and serve one another. So he, Matthew echo, echoes the same thought. Anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. Now, notice Jesus doesn't condemn the desire to lead others. He gives the gift of leadership. The gift of leadership is neither, uh, needed. Rather, he counters ancient world thinking of leadership. Back then, and even in many cultures around the world today, humility and weakness in the ancient world were not seen as virtues, but as signs of weakness. I watched something on TV Friday, uh, later Friday, and I was on NBC, and Carolyn watched it with me, and I just got pulled in. It was, it was an interview uh, uh, Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly was the journalist, and she inter was interviewing Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. That was an interesting interview, especially when they got to the pictures of him with his shirt off, you know, holding guns, riding horses, right? I'm like, okay, this guy is pretty narcissistic here, you know, and he wants the world to know that he's tough and he's strong, right? Whew. And so, counter to not only ancient world or even modern world thinking, the early church's embrace of this new ethic that Jesus brought forth, if you want to be the greatest, be servant of all. It's contrary to human reasoning and the human heart.